Um, hello, my name's Abby. If you're watching this video, it is probably because you want your house to be toxin free and you can't be bothered, like me. So I'm going to show you how to do it for $25 and in two hours. Why am I motivated to make my house toxin free? What a great question, you may ask. Well, cleaning has been making me feel sick for like four years. And you want to know why? It's because I overdosed on bleach one time. Really dumb. Story time. Story time. I was renting this kitchen, this commercial kitchen. It was like four by four, it had no ventilation, no windows, and I had a psychotic landlord. So I had to make sure that when I handed over this kitchen that there wasn't an ounce of dirt, dust. I thought it was smart to use two liters of undiluted bleach on a 35 degree day in the middle of summer. No ventilation, no windows, and I used a, like a little spray bottle. I poured it in there and I like did these micro sprays. So I was doing that for about 20 minutes and then all of a sudden like can't breathe, can't really see and I got the worst headache and I want to vomit and it came out of nowhere. I was like I was fine and then all of a sudden I was like oh my god I'm dying. What's going on? So it turns out yeah I um, sniffed two liters of undiluted bleach. I used the whole thing. Ever since then I feel really sick around bleach. Like I've been feeling sick for years, like four years now since that happened and I still clean with bleach and like just any product. It wasn't until about a few months ago that I connected the dots and I was like, Abby, I think you just have, you just, you haven't recovered from that situation and that's probably why you feel sick. So I am going to show you the different toxins that are in my house. I personally consider myself a low toxin household, but I feel like I still have so much. So anyways, come to my kitchen. My kitchen's a mess, but this is a cleaning video anyways, so like who cares? It's gross. Windex. Um, exit mold. No more stains. Actually no, this isn't puppy staining stuff. It's actually bleach. I refilled it. Okay. Now come to my bathroom. Let's see what nasties are in here. Ooh. Gross bathroom. Apologies. Oh. Toilet cleaner. Oh my god. This stuff. You know those ads where you like you push the the thing, the blue thing on the toilet rim and it like sits there? Well Liam bought this literally for fun because he wanted to know what that felt like. I should do another video on how to make natural Listerine. Tell me, do you want a video on that? Oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five. So really just exit mold, a whole thing of bleach, freak. Toilet cleaner, Windex, and the like fun toilet thingy situation which can definitely go in the bin. But these, I think I'm gonna keep these and empty them and fill it because then it keeps the budget low. And I'm gonna remake all of those. Wait, am I? Let me get a pen and paper. So this is what we're going to make, loo cleaner, mold cleaner, cream cleanser, if you're Australian then you probably know GIF, insert picture of GIF, antibacterial spray and glass cleaner because we all love Windex but we just don't need that. I'm going to show you the time because like, oh my gosh it's about to be 12, that'll be perfect and then at 2 o'clock if I'm not done then like, I'm going to wait for it to take A few moments later. It's 12 o'clock. Can you see that? Yeah, so if it's not 2 o'clock by the time I'm finished this, then like anticlimactic. But we're about to go to Woolies. Cut to frame of getting in cut.
expensive ingredients. Let me guess. I'm back from the shops and it is 12.35. Oh my gosh. It's 12.35. Um, and I got two types of vinegar. I got a cleaning vinegar and a cooking, like a white vinegar. And I don't know what the difference is, but all I know is that with food related things, like things that you have to consume, you obviously legally have to put what's in it. So to be honest, this could just like not be vinegar. They could put like bleach in this and be hiding it. Cause it's cleaning vinegar by cooking white vinegar. Anyways, and I got really expensive baking powder because they're out of baking soda, tea tree oil, and salt. And I forgot an ingredient, which was hydrogen peroxide, which is supposed to be for the loo cleaner. But you know what? I feel like we don't need it. We'll just use what we've got. I'm first off gonna make the window cleaner. And because it's for windows, I'm gonna use the Windex bottle. Well, say goodbye. Obviously, give it a good wash out. Make sure you obviously rinse this, because we don't want none of that. It says that we need 125 mils of water, 60 mils of white vinegar, four drops of like an essential oil or cinnamon, actually. But I'm just going to use actual tea tree. It's 10% oil. Mm. Abby. Look, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's still better than Windex. Who cares? I'm gonna go with it. So I'm just gonna fill it up to like there with water and then like there with vinegar. Seems about right. Up to about there with water. You know what? I reckon with the Windex like label, I'll be able to triple aim. I'll be like, yeah, it's still Windex. Okay, and then it says 10 drops, but. some science. <gasps> Guys, Darnsies. And look, I barely used any vinegar. Imagine spending $8 on Windex. <laughs> That's so dumb. Product number two, multi-purpose spray. And it's quite a similar recipe. It's 50% vinegar, 50% water, half a teaspoon of tea tree oil, and you can add an essential oil if you like. But for the purpose of this video, we are not doing essential oils today because they are a little bit expensive. It's 50% water. Nah. Now it's 50% water. Oh. It's right at the top. Half a teaspoon. Really not much. Shake it. That's that one done. You need to do cream cleanser, mold cleaner, and blue cleaner. Okay, cream cleanser, here we go. We need a little tub for this one. So I think like a little container. Perfect. All right, now half a cup of bicarb soda slash baking soda, whatever you've got. I did buy the expensive baking powder, but I do have baking soda at home, which is like the cheap brand. So I'm gonna use that and keep this one for baking. Salt everyone. 125 mils of water. Here we go. 10 drops. It's not like creamy enough. I'm gonna add more bicarb. This looks like a better consistency. It's like, I mean, I would keep mixing out the little rocks. But like, it's thick. You could like, could imagine you'd use like a little toothbrush and get in the ground and stuff. I'm so excited to test this. So, the next one's mold cleaner. Now, the book apparently says you, if, if you change it, if you've got a porous surface or a non-porous surface. So if you've got a non-porous surface, you only need 80% white vinegar and 20% water. If you've got a porous surface, oh, you need 70% of any pure white alcohol and 30% water. So look, we're gonna assume that I have non-porous surfaces. I don't know what a porous surface is. I'm assuming like tiles with pores. 
So yeah, we're just gonna do 80% white vinegar and 20% water in a spray bottle. And that's it. And the last spray bottle is the exit mold. Okay, look, I've been trying to get this lid off for like ever. So if you have mold this brand at home, good luck. But I do have an extra spray bottle. It's a co one. We do use co, but like not for everything. Like it won't get off mold, right? Alright, so this one is just eight. Mm, salt everywhere. 80% vinegar, 20% water. That's it. Alright. That is our mold cleaner done. Final one is the loop cleaner. Um, this one's a little bit more complex. I have a packet of bicarb soda in the bathroom and then I'm gonna make up the toilet cleaner like bottle. We just put the bicarb soda on the toilet and then you put the, the liquid. You can then add hydrogen peroxide to remove stains, but like it's chill. This feels good. Hey, okay, can I just say I'm a genius? I just made a funnel out of a sticker because this has like such a tiny hole. Let's see if it works. It's working. This is gonna take a while. Okay, so we're done. I have the worst headache, but that is to be expected from emptying all of those bottles. But yeah, so we've got our cream cleanser. We have our Lou cleanser, but remember, it goes with this in the bathroom together. We have our antibacterial spray, our mold cleaner, and then our, our glass cleaner. Okay, so I'm now gonna show you me cleaning all of those things. I don't know about you, but I can't see any marks on this mirror. Okay, so it is now 1.47 and I've made all five of those products cleaned and I even scrubbed the bathroom for a very long period of time and dilly dabbled in the shopping center. So if you think that you can't make your household toxin free, then you're lying to yourself. You're a fool. <laughs> Just kidding. I can do it so you can do it. Go to the shops, go get it. And also, if you like this video, let me know, please. Please. Thank you for watching. If you got this far, amazing. Hope it was okay quality. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Maybe I ate too much, because um, it's 2 o'clock. <laughs> Bye.